when I do ear candling, you start feeling a sound of sizzling. <laughs> I call it like a bacon sizzling. My name is Kaya Jones and I'm getting ear candling done today. Since I was young, I've always had a throbbing in my left ear. When I told my mom about it, she took me to the doctor and they said that it was psychosymptomatic. I do think I have trouble hearing due to this issue. Ever since then, I've always dealt with it. I went to the doctor recently and told them like, look, I need to have it figured out. When they clean my ear out, I have seen how much earwax comes out and it's not pretty. I had heard about ear candling before and had seen some YouTube videos on it, but I've never tried it. But I am super excited to meet Paulina and to have my ears cleaned out. My name is Paulina Boller and I'm the owner and head acupuncturist at the East Meets West Center for Holistic Medicine. The idea of East meets West came when I was studying in college because I do respect tremendously Western medicine. I think it's incredible, but I also obviously love Eastern medicine. And for me, always the real medicine is in the conjunction of Eastern and Western modalities because both have incredible things. That's where East meets West was born. Ear candling is a bit of a mystery. Nobody really knows how it works. Scientifically, it doesn't make any sense. It's really hard to find where the tradition comes from. I've been doing it for 12, 13 years at least, and every single person feels a relief. I'm gonna light the candles. Since signing up for the video, I've done some research on ear candling and I'm excited for it, but again, just worried about the burning flame near my head. <laughs> Tell me what's going on with your ears. So I've always had like a throbbing in this left ear. Like it always is like boom, 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 boom. So it's uh, a pulsating. It's not a sound. No, no? It's, yeah, it's pulsating. Pulsating. So. Let's try to see what happens. You're going to hear sizzling. It's the warm smoke that goes and melts whatever impurities that are there. It is a total of about 20 minutes on each side. Whoa! I have not seen any patients that had bad experiences with your candling. People come to get it when they have a beginning of a cold or a flu and it helps them. I think the best thing you can do is put a drop of olive oil or coconut oil in your ear. It's really gonna help you with health of your ears. All right, you ready for the next one? Yes. But I really want to see how much earwax is coming out. Like, will I be able to make my own candle? The uh, pivotal point in the procedure is everyone can't wait to see what comes out of their ears. From what I looked into, it's not really anything that's coming out of a person's ear because it doesn't have the vacuum effect. For many years, I was absolutely convinced that that is uh, wax now that it became such a controversy and I started looking more into it, I don't know. I don't know if that's uh, what it is. In a way, I really don't think it matters. What matters is that the person feels better and it feels better immediately. I don't really need any more proof than that. They look like little earwax cigars. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a good one. That was your bad left ear. That's about how much came out at the doctor's. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Cool. 
gross Wonderful. but cool. <laughs> I just have to keep coming back, and when I have a candle, then I'm a real member. There you go, just a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, how big that is, I don't think it'll take a few years. That's pretty big, yeah. <laughs> Well, two little bundles. I'm assuming the darker stuff is the um, earwax and yes. maybe the lighter stuff is the beeswax. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. It felt like a really big headphone in my ear. I didn't necessarily feel the heat. I more so heard the sizzling of my earwax. As the fire came closer to my face, obviously I started feeling it a little bit more. We're Ready to part? Yeah, we're parting. <laughs> Get out of me. <laughs> It's been almost a month now since I've had the procedure and my ears definitely feel a lot less pressurized. They feel cleaner, which I'm kind of embarrassed to say. I don't necessarily feel I'm hearing better, but I feel a difference. So maybe I just don't listen. Personally, I'm kind of a one or done type of person. I just wanted to try ear kindling. So since I've put that off my list, I feel I'm good, but I wouldn't mind trying it again. There are good indications that it is already happening and that is for the Eastern and Western medicine to come together. Everything works together. Everything is connected. And that is what is holistic. I hope that people start taking their health and the things that they're feeling into their own hands. Get to the answer because if it makes you feel good, that's all that matters. Thank you for watching Refinery29. To watch more videos, click here. To subscribe, click here.